Hey everybody, it's Becky. I wanted to do a video today about my landing shelf that I put in. Uh, of course it looks a little different because the pictures are backwards. They're pictures of my kids. I didn't want them to be on there, but I'm getting ready to transition my mantle shelf into fall decorations. So I wanted to show you this before because it'll be a while before it's back like this. This is like the spring and summer decorations that we have. And I have this, you know, a lot of people just have me back up just the landing where there's not enough room to really put anything and it's an awkward space. We have that window so I couldn't do any kind of a wall art because really I wanted to do a wall of clocks but I didn't couldn't do that because of the window. And I had gotten a couple people to bid how much it would cost um, to make a floating shelf and you know how it is getting people to come and do things. They would either come and give me a bid and never never call back or if I tried to call them they didn't answer. and. The people I did get bids from, they were too expensive. So actually I found this. This is the LAC floating shelf from Ikea. And it came this size. And it's only missing the only missing the wall by like, you know, maybe an inch and a half on each side. And that was okay for the money that I saved. It was less than $40. And it's the dark wood, like the brown uh, finish. So for less than $40, we hung that. And then I have that black frame is an Ikea frame. And it's just got a picture of my family. The white one is an Ikea frame. And then the print I got from art.com. And then the little board with the family rules is just a piece of really thin plywood that I got at Lowe's. And I painted it green and I bought the family rules decal on um, eBay. Let me put that on there. The little green frog, he's from Hobby Lobby. Uh, that frame I really like because I was worried how I was gonna put a bunch of pictures and not have them block the picture behind. So if you can tell, it's just a floating glass frame um, and so when it's turned around the other way you can still see the picture behind it but then also the picture that's in that frame so I really like that and that came from I think Michaels and that's just a regular little black IKEA frame the little white frog came from Hobby Lobby and the A came from Hobby Lobby as well if you're seeing a theme here the green vase came from Home Goods and it's just got like a green and yellow kind of a floral spray um, from Hobby Lobby again, and then the yellow vase came from um, Marshalls. The only thing I want to add is I need to get a flameless candle to go in there because um, there's the plug is way down there at the bottom, so I really don't want to have to like put a lamp. So I think it'd be nice to have some light there, but I just haven't gotten one yet. I have the same vases in my living room that are white, and I do have two of the Luminara candles in there, so I need to get another flameless candle. But that's pretty much what it looks like. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it and I think it fills the space up nicely and it's especially good for people like me that don't have a fireplace and I want a mantle to decorate for, for Christmas and fall and things like that. Um, but this is kind of a way to make your own mantle. I, I actually had a thought about drilling a hole in the, in the um, shelf and like running a plug down there. I haven't decided about that. I, don't, I haven't found the need yet because I know there's so many flameless candle options and battery operated light option. So I'm thinking about something like that possibly, you know, for fall. But I think these shelves are really a good a good deal. It's a really nice sturdy shelf. You can cut them. We have done it in our bathroom before. Just tape off the ends with painter's tape and then cut it slowly so it won't splinter. Um, and they were fine. We did them upstairs and they turned out okay. So Ikea is definitely the place to go for things like that. And where else would you find a shelf that big, you know, especially for that price? So I hope you thought that was interesting and helpful, and I hope you can get an idea of what it really looks like, even though the pictures are turned around backwards. And the next time you see this shelf, it will be decorated for fall. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.